Okay, just recapping just in case the video wasn't picking up. Um, there's negative drainage um, around the front of the house on the right of the porch. And there's negative drainage on the back of the house. Um, and <coughs> all four <coughs> uh, gutters need downspout elbows and uh, the splash blocks at the end. And that will help um, keep the water away from the house on the front side. So that is, um, that's going to be rock dust. Um, unfortunately, a lot of handwork, um, and then a little bit of topsoil on top. Okay, so we have um, engineered beams here. These are like I-beams, but they're made out of wood, and they are 2 by 10s Okay. And there's a bunch of stuff in the crawl space that's going to have to be removed. We will take care of that. Um, in the inspection report, uh, they were talking about mold and fungal growth. Um, the way to take care of that is to remove the insulation, <coughs> have the property sprayed um, with the correct chemical by an EPA certified applicator, um, and then we put the insulation back in. We cannot reuse the insulation. It just falls apart when it comes out. So we dispose of that <coughs> and put all new in. All right. Uh, let's see. Crawl space. Fungal. Got that. Standing water near the front. Okay, no uh, mystery there because we saw the negative drainage um, at the front uh, where the water collects up against the foundation wall. Okay. All right. So. You can see right here where water is coming in at the porch. Um, we see that in a lot of houses. <coughs> um, wow, that is a lot of water. Something else that was called out on the inspection report too. Uh, this is a brace. I guess they had a squeak or a sag in the floor, something like that, but this is just a two by four. It's just tacked to the floor below, and then it makes contact with the ground down here. So that is not, and it's on top of a plumbing pipe on top of that. So that is really a bad idea. Um, the proper way to get rid of this squeak, if there is a squeak, if that's what they're trying to do, is to take a piece and go across here um, with a piece of wood, not, not to the ground. Okay, so you can see water standing here. Um, Wow, that's a lot. And it, you can see where it's trickling in right there. It's trickling in from, looks, it appears that it's trickling in from the pipe <coughs> that's leaking the spigot <coughs> outside. Okay, the next thing that we're talking about is piers. And I remember seeing on the inspection report, and that is in this area here, which is in the <coughs> Uh, it's in, it's about a third of the way, um, to the left of the porch. Well, halfway between the porch and the left side of the house and, uh, about halfway back, um, from the center beam to the rear foundation wall. So I'm just going to crawl over there and look at that. And... Yep, oh, I see it dripping. That's where all the water is coming from, right here. It is a plumbing leak. It is right there, and it is dripping, and it's where the um, either CPVC or copper, there's a union, and that is dripping. It is running from here, and it's collecting right there at the pipe, at the uh, sewer pipe. All right, I'm going to go to the piers that are not done correctly. <coughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> so what I call this is a quarter wall because you've got your foundation wall over there. Uh, and then you've got your center beam here. 
So a quarter beam, a quarter wall would be right here. And that is usually done because there's excessive deflection in the floor joist, or maybe the floors are, are bouncy, or maybe there's deterioration or something like that. So what a lot of people will tend to do um, is they will try to uh, minimize that deflection by putting something up underneath of them. Um, and sometimes you end up with something like this, which is just <coughs> totally, um, it's the right idea, it's just done the wrong way. The correct way to do this would be <coughs> to dig a footing and um, underneath the house, you have to dig them by hand um, at the end and um, spaced along in the center, uh, probably about eight feet. You dig a footing, uh, we dig down 24 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches, a two foot cube. Um, we bring concrete under the house. In this case, we'd have to bring it in in buckets, uh, mix it up and pour it in the holes and then we would come back in a couple of days we'd have good solid footings to um, put the quarter beam on and then we use steel jack post and then we would go from the steel jack post up to underneath the uh, floor joist and then here we would probably do um, something similar in size to this and this is a 2 by 10 so we'd probably uh, do a double double 2 by 8 for that whole length and then we would attach the jack post to the double two by eights and that's the proper way to do that so that's how we'll take care of that so damage subflooring is in the crawl space due to water okay so there's damaged subfloor and i'm going to suspect that's going to be in the bathroom area so i'm going to look for the pipes coming down and it looks like it's up ahead of me <coughs> That quarter beam is about, it's about half, one, two, it's about half the, half the length of the house. Okay, and now I'm going to look for the rotten subfloor. And I'm seeing it right here on the ground. I'm just gonna pull the insulation back. That's a dryer vent. There's hot and cold something going on there. Let's see what we got. If this is it. No, it doesn't look bad there at all. All right. Ah, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what we have here uh, this is probably underneath the bathtub, I'm going to guess. <coughs> this looks like the bottom side of a bathtub. And this is a long-term leak, uh, probably a slow long-term leak. And it still looks like it might be active now because this does look, it's just falling apart and it is wet. So. Something is leaking in this wall right here, or in these pipes. So, uh, I can see where it's been patched. So, <clears throat> thing to do is to get rid of all this plumbing <coughs> from here up. <coughs> Put all new in so we don't have to worry about it not... Um, so that we don't have to worry about it leaking in the future. It looks like to fix this, because it is so far gone, we would probably have to pull the tub out and then replace this piece of subfloor. Fortunately, it's just in this area here. Um, and then put the tub back in. So I will have to pick that back up um, when I go inside. And uh, interesting growth there. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. All right. <clears throat> Okay, and this is da, 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 da. okay. So there's a um, an engineered floor joist that was cut by a when they installed the pipe. That is very common um, because plumbers don't care. So I'm gonna see if I can find that. <coughs> Let's see how much of a trick it would be. Okay, that's right here. <coughs> And it's about, um, 
it's a little to the right of center and it is about four feet off the back of the house. Um, these engineered floor joists are not to be cut like that. Uh, what it does is even though it's a little bit right there and a little bit right there, it's not a lot, uh, it does um, undermine the structure um, of the whole beam. So <clears throat> it does make it tricky because we either have to reroute the plumbing or we would have to header this whole area off um, and do something else structural. So I'm going to come back in here with my... Um, screwdriver and just do some poking around to see um, if there's there is some discoloration here in this subfloor to see if it needs to be replaced or if it's okay <clears throat> hey Kenny hey, okay. yeah go ahead Okay, I'm continuing back and um, I'm going to grab my screwdriver and I'm going to look under here, kind of poke around. This does look like it's a little discolored, but I don't think, I don't feel like from what I can see right here, I don't think there's any uh, structural loss in this particular area other than the beam is cut. And it's not cut really bad, but because it's an I-beam, you're not supposed to cut it at all. Um, Wow, they completely didn't have to do that, did you too? Dang it. Okay, all right, let's see what's next. Roof structure, plumbing, trellis up here, plumbing, and then plumb below the attic. That's not here, that's in the attic. Ventilation, <coughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm just going to go grab a screwdriver and come back here. Looks like there were some prior repairs done here. Man. I don't think this is recording the first time, so I'm just going to do it again. Uh, we need a, a diverter at the end of the gutter. This area here needs to be um, filled with rock dust and, and topsoil because the drainage is wrong. <clears throat> this side looks okay. All right. Uh, just need the diverter there. And an elbow and a diverter there. Um, rock dust and topsoil back here a little bit. <coughs> when I go back, I'm going to check underneath the back door. And elbow and diverter there. Okay, back in the crawl space, and uh, I'm going to just take my little screwdriver you can see where there's been a lot of plumbing repairs here a little bit bad but it's not terrible I think what I would do here is bridge in a piece underneath um, instead of pulling the tub out on that one crickets. I hate camel crickets. Okay. And we are over the deck. 
<clears throat> well, we're behind the deck right now. This is apparently where the deck is fastened. rotten on it there. I don't see any staining on the sill plate. <coughs> no. <coughs> a little staining right here. Joists are about <coughs> two feet apart. <coughs> okay, here's some subfloor. <coughs> Definitely. So this is the subfloor. Oh, no doubt. <coughs> 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 <And> that's, <coughs> that's the subfloor beside the tub, not the subfloor under the tub. <coughs> oh, probably, <coughs> realistically, might have to do the whole, whole bathroom floor. No question there. Okay, but that one, and then <coughs> the one beside. <coughs> it's not due to a one-time leak. This is this is a leak that occurred over and over for a long time. You can see it staining the the center beam. Did not affect the center beam is still in good shape. <coughs> it's not <coughs> other than staining. Okay. And then <coughs> on this side <coughs> it is plywood, not OSB. Interesting. And it is stained a little bit, but it's not <coughs> it's not so bad that I would replace it. So this side is okay, in my opinion. All right, I'm going to go to the front <coughs> front door area, and then I'm going to go in the house. <coughs> All right, front door area, you can see where water is coming in. Down the down the foundation wall, but these look really good. These pockets, these pockets look great. <coughs> Whatever's going on at the front door looks good. I don't see an issue with that at all. <coughs> okay, good. Okay, so this is the master, well, can't say that anymore, primary bedroom um, closet. And the floor that's weak is weak in here. You can, it kind of crunches. Um, the bathroom floor, I think, is okay. That The floor covering is not pretty, but um, I think what I'm going to recommend that we do here is pull the carpet up um, gingerly so we don't ruin it. Um, Roll it back, fix the floor, 
put the carpet right back down. <clears throat> um, then this is the second bath, which um, the floor feels great in here. I didn't see any rot. There's a little tiny bit here, but I don't think it's enough to warrant the expense of pulling that tub out. I would say we should put an access panel right there. And <clears throat> we should put an access panel right there too so we have plumbing access to both, um, both tubs. Then we can fix those, um, fix all the plumbing issues easily. Looks like there's been some sheetrock work here. <clears throat> okay, so this needs work here. That's not adjusted right. Um, so I'll probably just replace everything from the crawl space out. Get it straight. <clears throat> Put in an access panel there because that's that sheet rock's gnarly anyways repaint this wall and then <clears throat> put in a access panel here and then repaint that wall all right so pull this bathroom floor out um, check to make sure there's no problem with the subfloor and <clears throat> then put new laminate in we can just cut um, cut a threshold right here, do everything new, and we can reseat reseat the toilets and everything at the same time. The inspection report said that there was water detected around the base of this toilet. However, um, it doesn't feel wet to me. It feels a little waxy. However, we'll pull the toilet, replace the wax seal. And we'll replace the supply one too with braiding. <coughs> okay, I'm in the attic. Um, and I, it's limited ventilation in the attic because there's no ridge vent. There's, you have the gable in vents, but there's no ridge vent. Okay, and I'm around the uh, HVAC unit right now. <clears throat> and there is there is evidence that this um, drain line is not working correctly because water was in the pan. A lot of water has been in the pan over a long period of time. It's actually formed rust, rust deposits here. Um, and the drain line comes down like this, goes like this. If this doesn't work right, <clears throat> it goes into the pan, uh, and then the pan should have its own um, drain line. But in all likelihood, this one is stopped up, um, and there should be another drain line for this. As bad as this pan looks, we might want to just replace the pan. And then this should run down into the crawl space and out outside the house. Just looking to see if I think the pan is leaking. There's some discoloration on this wood right too, right here too. <clears throat> this catwalk. Okay, and here's. The drain line for the pan itself is right here, and if the main line gets clogged up, the water goes in here and it drains out here. It's supposed to be independent. <coughs> so <coughs> I think we need an HVAC guy to <coughs> unplug the um, the main line, the main drain line, um, and because there's been so much water in here <coughs> over such a long period of time because there's so much rust 
<coughs> go ahead and replace that pan as well. <coughs> And the um, inspection report <coughs> called out mold or discoloration, but this is just a scrap piece of wood that somebody used when they built the house. <coughs> There's a little bit there. A little bit there. I think this can all be just spot treated. It's not terrible. See it right there. Spot treated. Okay, let's see what I need to see up here. <clears throat> uh, and to keep it from coming back, <clears throat> a ridge vent um, and or a power gable end vent. <clears throat>